So this first award is dedicated to the chart champion. And this is someone who we've all recognized as a leader in the community. And this award who's, is dedicated to someone who embodies all characteristics of a true champion. Someone who fails and gets back up and someone who looks forward to the next adventure. All right, and this Chart Champion Award goes to Mof. So, please come up on stage. What is your trading strategy like? Um, I watched all the videos in the Charles Champions group and I put uh, some things here, some things here and developed my own trading strategy. And I'm basically using them now and sharing with the community, of course. And it's so nice to see that so many people I got to talk to a lot, uh, learn from that. That's the, like you said, the best feeling one can have mm -hmm. if I share a trade and if someone DMs me, hey, I learned from that. That's uh, very, very nice, yeah. Okay, yeah, we really like your posts. So for how long have you been trading for? I've been trading for three years and being in CC for two years. The first year was uh, just a mess. I didn't know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought uh, some coins uh, like um, Wave because it has a nice name. And, uh, <laughs> That's a good strategy. We should look into it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I started to lose a lot because I bought everything at the top and, I <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I left it there and um, one time I had a friend and he, I asked him what do you do and he said he's trading and I said that sounds interesting what he's doing, uh, how did you learn it and he said uh, chart champions and so I, I joined and uh, I didn't regret it. Uh, is your friend here? That's really nice. No. Yeah, I was about to ask, is your friend here? Or is he still with us? He's um, still watching everything, every video, but he is currently not in the group, but I'm getting him to, oh. uh, to go back. <laughs> nice. And what would you say was your biggest challenge in trading? The biggest challenge was um, overcoming the feeling that I had to trade because I didn't start with a lot. Uh, so every loss was very big for me. So I had, every time I entered the trade, I had it in mind, if I lose, I am down this and I can afford it. So the biggest challenge was everything that comes with the mind. Like the TA was very simple to learn, very easy to, to do, but when you enter a trade, then the, um, your mind is uh, playing games and overcoming or winning the, these mind games is, uh, was by far the biggest challenge for me, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely agree on that. So um, uh, you are full-time trading now, right? Yeah, full-time trading, yeah. Wow, that's perfect. So what would you recommend your fellow traders if there was one thing that you would boil it down to? I recommend that uh, you all realize that we have s such a nice group <coughs> and you all uh, start to chat more because uh, chatting was uh, and interacting with the community we have was one of the key things to learn from me because some very good traders tell me, hey, you're looking at this wrong, uh, or you're looking at this right, or this one is nice. So uh, chatting more definitely helps me a lot, so do it. Yeah, that's really nice. That's a really good advice. And yeah, I truly feel you deserve this award. So um, everyone, let's give a hand to Wolf. <laughs> The next award is our Lifetime Achievement Award, and this is going to the member that is here who has been with us the longest. All right, and this is going to be a good one. And the award goes to? Yeah, the uh, uh, Lifetime Achievement Award goes to S, Mr. Crypto24. There he is. <laughs> Come and join us. Thank you. 
Right. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. Go on, tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> yeah. So when did you join Chat Champions? I guess in 2022. 2020, 2020. 2020 because I guess I have you can. Uh, joined. And uh, in uh, 2018, I have basically been introduced to crypto and all. And uh, in two years, I basically lost everything <laughs> which I have earned uh, from my uh, earlier business. And uh, after being introduced to uh, Chart Champions, I basically uh, got to know about risk management, which is kind of the most important thing, <laughs> which I was not doing from last two years and I, back then. Then uh, after that, maybe things have, uh, you know, kind of been good and on a steady base that I have first able to learn to survive, first of all, in the market. And then I eventually got to, you know, become a little profitable trader over the time. And now I am doing pretty good, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting you talk about the risk management because that, as a trader, you really need to have that under your belt. Um, what, what was the pivotal moment that told you, right, I need to do something and what did you do? Did you create your own journal or did you use our journal or you know, did you just write anything down or how did you went through that process? And you know, tell, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So basically, I actually uh, tried to win a lot in the volatile times. I used to, I mean, do great. But then in uh, like sideways market, I used to give everything back to the market, everything. <laughs> so like in one month, I was up 25%. Next month, I am giving all my profits and even down. So like it happened like in every three months, this used to happen. I was like, what am I doing wrong? I mean, I have to fix this, otherwise I am actually not uh, making money for myself, I am just giving away fees to exchanges. <laughs> so then basically I uh, talked to a trading assistant to chart uh, customer service, I told them my uh, problem and they actually uh, helped me, you know, they told me that, you know, uh, you have to go through this trading journal and you have to stick to your emotions and stuff, you have to correct your psychology. And then I uh, began uh, using the trading channel. Of course, it helped a lot. And then I, now basically, I every time I take a trade, I have everything set up, like how much I have to risk. I have to risk every 0.5% risk per trade. And I have to uh, see that my influences are in the place. If I have more than two influences, then now I have to take a trade. So now I have a structured Discipline. mindset. Discipline. Yeah, discipline. And uh, also, I don't have to, you know, uh, take a uh, decision on time now. I have things placed. If my criteria meets, then I have a trade in front of me. Otherwise, I don't. So this helps me a lot, I guess. Did you hear that? Risk management. <laughs> That's really, really, really good. So would you pass that message on to everybody that a trading journal really is key? I mean, guys, you don't have to make costly mistakes. Trust me, I have lost a lot earlier. So you don't have to make the same mistake the coaches are telling everyone to do and uh, others are also facing the same problems. I mean, of course, I can you know, relate that uh, some of you may be earning so much but then again getting uh, giving back to the market. But to analyze what we are basically doing, what uh, we are trading more, over trading, we are doing over trading or we are taking less probable trades, Trading journal is the only thing which we will you know, have uh, a feedback from. So it is like highly recommended. It will save you so much time, I mean years maybe, to get ahead in your game. So I mean, I'm very thankful to Chart Champions to be honest. Good stuff. Now, final question. Are you trading on our competition this weekend? And if so, what's your strategy? So I have just created demo account yesterday. Okay, good. So and my <laughs> it's paper money. So yeah. It's okay, it's okay. So I'll be my strategy will be basically to look for uh, confluence on a very small time frame, and then I will just hire my uh, risk trade per trade because yeah. I have to win the competition. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, you're win. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Give it up. <laughs> All right, our next award is for Trader of the Year. And this is a very special award because it actually has a misprint on it. 
So we, we're not going to give you the award now, but we'd still like to invite you up to come speak and come tell us a little bit about uh, your trading journey. So the winner of Trader of the Year goes to Davidas. <laughs> Hello, my friend. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> Come and join us. So yeah, we we went through. We were looking over the Discord. Obviously, we need a list of awards. Sure. Us, we were. That's just this is worth. Uh, yeah. yeah. We were looking through, and I was like, oh, you need to select the trader of the year, which was hard because there are there are a lot of good traders. I was like, uh, you're posting a lot. You've posted in the the money sh channel, and what I also liked is that you're in psychology, helping people out. And posting a, you know, in all these different forms, like trader of the year in terms of uh, like doing well with the with the, the trades, but also in terms of helping people out a lot. So it was, uh, yeah, this is why, yeah, you were selected for the awards. And what was what is your main primary trading strategy that you're using? <coughs> Thanks, Ahmed. Um I mean, I really try to keep it simple. Um, quite often, I do trading simply in altcoins. So. Mm -hmm. Everything from, uh, you know, the basic fibs, uh, falling on a uh, POC, that yep. really helps. But I mean, quite often it's uh, very helpful to get. We don't do signal here, but yep. uh, mm -hmm. it's really good confluence when uh, somebody like Severin uh, does an update <laughs> earlier in the day, right? <laughs> so I think uh, just knowing that um, something's kind of like the flavor of the week on yep. alts that's really helpful, and I think. I can just echo what was said before. Not over trading really helps. Mm -hmm. So um, keeping it simple is very important. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, obviously yeah, patience is, is such a, a massive part of trading. And so are you trading more lower term time frames or higher term time frames? Definitely higher time higher term time frames. But uh, one of the things I've mentioned to some of the other folks here already is I really need to do scalping a lot more because um, it's something I have not practiced that much at all, and um, understanding like the, you know, the context really matters. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not going to make you a bigger, a better trader. Just uh, getting in on a good position. So, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, <laughs> I think you have so much. And I would say the, the last question I would have is that obviously now you are higher term time frame trading on the altcoins and doing yeah. well, and looking to transition into scalp trading. Will you do that on crypto, or are you gonna do that on the futures, uh, like ES and Q? I actually don't trade futures, but after speaking to some folks <laughs> here today, I mean, also the <laughs> fees matter quite a bit. But uh, um, I actually want to share something later with the community because I think when you have five hundred assets to pick from just on Bybit, right? Uh, there's really enough opportunities for everybody to find there. So. Yeah. Um, I do think that scalping is going to very much depend on how your uh, life trading evolves, Daniel, because yep. <laughs> um, I think there's a lot to be learned there. But um, probably, uh, to keep it short, altcoins is going to be still the place. But it nice. depends how the next couple of days actually go, because I might not be as <laughs> bullish as some people here. But uh, let's Fair see. Enough. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, you know, I spoke to a lot of people already, and uh, I hear a lot of people are getting into futures. But I, I agree, like if you want to scope trade, you can still do it on crypto. There's no need to like trade exactly. futures. So yeah, thank you ever so much for your time. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. All right, the next award goes to our biggest supporter. And this is someone who is putting the community on their shoulders, is really going out of their way to like, share and get the word out about chart champions and this is someone who always takes time to respond always takes time to show that they're looking and thinking about our our content and as well as sharing their own content so for this one the winner is we would like to call up james, james c, c. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Actually, nice to meet you. 
We didn't, so, have, we didn't have the chance to uh, have a chat yet. I know, you've been, you work hard with us as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're always there. Tell yeah. us a little bit about yourself when you join, you know, your journey into your trading and, you know, how things are going. And yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I joined, I think, in 2021 uh, after blowing my third account uh, and, 60, and 68K, <laughs> basically. Right. Um, I was I was starting to have to look at video on, on YouTube and uh, following the, the the wrong people, let's say, and then I uh, I came across a video of, uh, and Daniel said, oh, this is this is interesting. Uh, this seems to be uh, teaching something you know practical uh, and teaching something like true, mm -hmm. um, and the prediction it was pre <laughs> pretty good. So I started to I started to join and obviously. Um, I was a little bit on on and off, on and off, on and off. Um, and then I studied the content for two years, uh, every evening, two or three hours uh, per day. So like I've got like big, big paper <laughs> like that, <laughs> with all all of the writing and trying to understand uh, understand everything, all the, the strategies and so on, and uh, come up with uh, with. Yeah, testing different strategy, come up with my strategy, mm -hmm. which Good. is pretty much pick up from all of you, all of you guys, but mainly based on uh, uh, on the CC scalping strategy. Nice. Um, so basically, 2019, count under 14 or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, and I was because yeah, I, I was testing different strategy, CCTR. I couldn't. I couldn't understand it. Too was quick. Like too, qu yeah, too yeah. quick. Yeah, <laughs> we discussed on the table on this, and uh, I look at the strategy and I say, Bolle Jarban and RSI. I think I can do it. <laughs> it's like seems seems simple, and then I evolve a little bit and uh, find find my pace on uh, scalping uh, all coins, only all coins, Good. and a little bit of BTC. Okay, nice. Okay. Good. Um, do you have like a, a message that you can send out to the community today while you're up here, like on your on your journey, like something that you've learned and that you'd like to share, or like um, anything? I think that it's uh, the extension of uh, risk management, like it's paramount. Um, journaling is paramount, but also to don't be shy to show your results. Uh, obviously, to show the ap appreciation of all of, all of uh, the work you are doing. But also just to show your your PNL, be uh, be open on it. This is what I'm trying to do every every mm -hmm. month to say, I'm not the best, but but this is a strategy that work, and this is the proof of it. Months after months, uh, being profitable. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, great. Um, are you going to take part of the uh, on, on the competition this weekend? Uh, are you have you got an account created already, or tell us a little bit. Uh, I would say no. No, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> but it's me. It's me uh, personally. No, I, I'm. I'm not taking part of the okay. competition. Okay. Sorry. All right. No. So no uh, problem. <laughs> uh, no problem. All right. Thank you. Give it up. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. much. The name is wrong on this, but we'll change it to next. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. So our next award tonight goes to our most analytical, analytical trader. And this is someone who really embodies a deep understanding of technical analysis, the charts, and has a, a very, very deep level of comprehension when it comes to trading and sharing that information with our community members. So without further ado, the winner is Woodchopper. Woodchopper. Congratulations, nice one. Well, yeah, thank you. Yeah, the, everyone's here has been put on the spot. Yeah, so. sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, well, I guess we'll start off by if you can give a little bit of your journey and how you became the most analytical trader in Char Champions. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> um, yeah, so I started in Jan 21. I think Dan was in a short and about to close out for about 200k. I was like, I need to get to know this guy. So <laughs> signed up to Chart Champions. Um, 
followed your signals for a few weeks, made a lot of money, <laughs> and then lost it all, obviously, a few weeks later. <laughs> um, really immersed myself in Bitcoin trading, and in the last year, inspired by you guys, um, got into futures. So I think, yeah, the last year or so has been pretty consistent, so, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and so would you say you now enjoy and are more successful with futures trading than you were when you were trading crypto? Yeah, I think, because um, I still have a day job, um, The being in this time zone, because I live in Dubai, I can do most of my analysis in the morning before the market opens, and at London open before I'm working, I can more or less get in and out of the market, um, and you know, I could be done, like the last two days have been done by London open before my day job starts, so that's been like, you know, bliss. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. And... I would say, um, what is the strategy that you're using now on the majority of the trades? <clears throat> yeah, so um, probably inspired by Severin, I've become obsessed with statistics. <laughs> so <laughs> you knew that was coming. <laughs> so thanks for opening your DMs and being able to talk to you about stats because yeah, I think since I had a gap between work for about three or four months and I just became obsessed with stats. So single prints, um, swing failure patterns, um, time point of control, one of my favorite levels, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really statistics based. I tend to, you know, look for liquidity grabs. I, um, yeah, single prints, naked value areas, those sorts of things. So typical how we trade here. And then daily open outside value area, which is favorite, 75% stat, love that trade. So yeah, I've got statistics just burning through my head right now. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, so it's, it's been a good, good year, I'll say. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been well, uh, very good. Congratulations, and uh, yeah, thank you ever so much for being Thanks. part of the community. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seven. Seven. All right, our next award is for a member who is showing great promise. Someone who is rising up through the ranks and showing their stuff and giving us some amazing, amazing, amazing analysis and as well as trades. So, for the winner, we have Drag to P. No motorbikes up here. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yes. So nice to see you. Here you go. Right on. Come on in. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right, Drag to P. So we have seen your recent posts in the Futurist chat. So you had a car accident and then a motorcycle accident. So how do you feel about risk management? <laughs> <laughs> I need a better stop loss, so I, I just risk half of my position size, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. No, uh, jokes out of the way, that is obviously a great commitment that you still made your way out of here. So um, you're obviously one of the younger members. So um, what is it like being a, a trader of your age? So is it typical or are you the only one in your friend group that is a trader? Um, it's sometimes pretty hard because people in my age, they think about trading like it's a scam. It's what is that guy doing? There is no future. And... They sometimes even laugh about this, but it's just your mindset that needs to stay strong then and you need to, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard in my age to, to do it. Ah, so it's even more inspiring that you still do it and that you, that you keep through it. So, um, and I heard you talk about mindset a lot actually, and you also talked about that you go for a run every morning. So it seems to be that you are extremely passionate and motivated also um, inspired by us maybe. So if you don't mind me asking, what is your long-term goal with trading? Do you have like a very big goal? And don't be too low key. So say, what is your biggest goal that you have? Yeah, of course, I want to be one of the best. I think I have a huge, huge advantage that I'm so young, like Muff as well. So <laughs> we are both pretty young. We can make it pretty far up 
to free actually have a discipline. So that's why I'm running every morning as well. Now not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I forgot the other part of the question. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I've seen pictures of you sitting in your classroom and watching live streams. So you still go to school, right? So what is your plan after school? Do you think you will do um, trading as a full-time job or will you do a study or anything like that? Yeah, so my dad advised me to make a study to have a plan B, but I think focus on the plan A is the most important thing right now. Yeah. I will look what comes when the time is there. So. I have up, uh, offers for a study, but I don't know if I need to take this. Maybe I just focus on the trading and invest all the time in that. No, that's really great. And we can see that you're putting in the time, putting in the effort. So everyone, give a big hand to drag to a peak. And shout out to his father as well, who's here supporting. <laughs> Great dad. Congratulations. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. See you. Good. All right. The next trader that we have is our most persistent trader. And this is someone who has fallen down but gotten back up. Someone who gets knocked off the horse but gets back on to ride again. And we really want to honor them tonight as the most persistent trader. And that goes to Capricorn. Come on up. Okay then, tell us a little bit about yourself, when you joined, and um, your journey up until now, to uh, you know to, to be a, a, the, uh, the 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 trader that you are today. Yes, yeah. So I joined CC in twenty one, like you saw in the testimony at the beginning. Um, actually, my father joined originally because I was like eighteen, and now I'm twenty one. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit much. And my dad was like, no, we do this. Because he was used to trading, but he's like an entrepreneur himself. And he was like, yeah, you can do it. And I was like, yeah, let's just do it. And it was a hard journey because I studied at the same time. I was working at the same time. And yeah, now next year, I'm going to go full trading, actually. Nice. And yeah, just finished my degree in business informatics this month. So that's, yeah, that's about me. Good. Yes. Um, uh, th that's, that's incredible because having the support from your family is really important. Yes. Because when it comes to trading, sometimes like when you talk to your family, it, it can be quite hard because they just either don't um, understand it or, you know, they think it's, it's not uh, feasible mm -hmm. or, you know, things like that. And, um, you know, so it is nice to have that family support yeah. and your dad um, supports you, obviously. So yes. that, that's really good. Do you want to comment on yeah. that? Or? Yeah, for, sh for sure. I think that's like maybe an unfair advantage that I have because he's like an entrepreneur for like 30 years. And actually, I want to give a shout out because it's on video. He's like, he used to, uh, he should be here, he, should, he was supposed to be here with me, but um, actually there is name tag in the back, but he it was in the hospital the whole week because there was a high probability that he has cancer, and, but in his lung, and, but it isn't cancer, it's nothing, God bless. So, yeah, shout out to him. back to your question ego um yeah because he's an entrepreneur for 30 years he was always like in that risk to reward ratio like you and i think like he always was like you have to spend something and then you get something back it's like in business sometimes you have a product it's a complete failure you spend money you lose money so yeah Investment. yeah it's, he gave me that business mindset i think and yeah I miss him a little bit because I would love to celebrate that with him, but uh -huh. he's in my heart and thank you for the support. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Last but not least, we have the best student. And this is someone who is not only studious, but curious and interested to learn more every single day. Uh, we see this person post quite often. 
and we see them asking very tough questions. And we love that because the tougher the question, the more it challenges us to learn and grow ourselves. So without further ado, the winner for best student, Structurator. Come on up. How are you, mate? Ah, so yes, join us. Um, well, yeah, but thank you for uh, attending and all your posts inside of the Discord. Um, so I guess, yeah, a good question to start off with is give a little bit of an introduction and how you joined and how, how your journey has been with Chart Champions. Well, um, well, first of all, thanks. And... Uh, Nervous, yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> now you know how it feels. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's a recognizable uh, story. Um, essentially, um, I thought I was one of the best traders in the world uh, after the first Bitcoin pump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all then I realized uh, I'm definitely not. Uh, made a lot and lost practically everything again. Uh, but I caught the bug and I wanted to uh, continue that life. I had some uh, margin still, so I decided to go full time. And um, yeah, it was your videos essentially. Uh, mm -hmm. So much, uh, there was just so much uh, insight. And actually you mentioned Bitcoin pop earlier. <laughs> it was a total mess in there. Uh, I was in that thing as well. Um, so yeah, after that, um, just, just joined and saw the light here. Nice. And uh, yeah. S slowly working my way through the, all the content, and I can definitely advise everybody. Also, the old videos. There's just a lot of a lot of information there, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's, it's wonderful to see all the different uh, characters, different styles, all represented here. So yeah. that's probably a lot of text for one question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Maybe to con continue that, or oh no, you continue. So, no, so then I'll finish. <laughs> You could go on if you got one. Yeah, carry my, on. <laughs> my biggest experience, actually, or my biggest uh, takeaway is, is, is th there is uh, a lot is covered here from the most lowest level 17-second uh, uh, MUP trades all the way to w what Daniel, uh, you know, you're, you're essentially you're, trading. Yeah, you're, you're a few in life. And I think for every trade, it's, it's, a, it's a journey to find your own uh, position in this, to find your own place. And that's taken me the longest, I think, to really find where I fit as a person. My personal traits, uh, I'm not a very patient person. Uh, I do like to hyper-concentrate, so my journey led me towards the uh, future side. Mm -hmm. And I feel at home there. Good. But I have a lot of questions still coming. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's interesting. That's I think good. it's totally true. Like, well, let's say 100 people in here, we could have 100 different types of traders. Like everyone has to take that time to understand. Like they say in trading, you learn a lot about yourself. Like from the start, I mean, you can all imagine, like think about when you started to where you are now. I mean, you grow not just in trading, but you grow yourself and you learn so much about yourself. Um, I know you're uh, very actively posting in the psychology channel. You're always, always helping people out in the psychology channel. Do you, do you find that that is a good form for like expressing some opinions or feelings and how does it benefit you to be active in, in that section? That's a great question. So I, I do believe it's, it's very, it's one of the great uh, uh, things, traits in, the, in our, in, in the, in our uh, community that there is room for, for this part. And of course it's easy to say, okay, psychology is an important factor. Um, but the fact that people actually open up and, and say how they feel and, and really speak from their emotions and their experiences mm -hmm. and, and don't worry about sharing uh, life changing things in a possibly not always positive way, yep. I think it's really good uh, that there's room for that. And um, you can learn a lot from that as well, from that, from that section, definitely. Yeah, yeah no, perfect. Yeah. Uh, and I would say uh, for the final question, obviously, as, as the best student, <laughs> how would you, how many hours, uh, let's just say a week on mm -hmm. average, do you put into learning to trade? And would you like to do more? Or are you comfortable with that? Or, or how much do you do? And then what do you think is the ideal mm -hmm. amount as someone wanting to learn to trade? 
Yeah, so, so a lot of my time went into really finding my place, I would say. And uh, the videos went along and, and they push you in a direction, but you, you pick up things. You see the traders do things, like it's, it's wonderful to see you guys uh, re refer to things, their own, st your, your styles. So um, that creates a curiosity, but that curiosity comes more as soon as you feel at home, because then you have a, a base to work from. And I think now I found that, uh, I hope I found it, I think I found it, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Uh, so, so uh, that's New York, New York Open is basically the, 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 the main focus, that's where it starts. And in preparation, I, I like to spend a few hours uh, um, on and off studying. So, um, but that goes in waves, to be honest. So yeah. I couldn't, can really it, really, it really comes from the curiosity in your mind. So as soon as you have a place where you, you feel uh, comfortable. Uh, comfortable, exactly. You hear somebody uh, bring up something. It was recently Severin. You uh, and oh, by the way, uh, Scott, uh, wonderful uh, interactions uh, recently. Really great. But um, you mentioned, uh, oh, I'll have a look at your order flow. And actually, for me, that was like, I never looked at order flow. What am I doing here? So it, it just sparked a whole new area where I really have to get up to speed again. So from curiosity, it, it just uh, creates a need to watch the videos instead of just, oh, I need to do 10 more videos today. Yeah. So it's, it, it fluctuates, definitely. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and no, I, I think that is, is a really good just word, like curiosity. Like the more curious you are about, uh, about something, then that's what then gives you that drive to want to learn and understand it and that like want of, of wanting to learn and want to bear yourself, yeah. So like be curious and want to learn. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, I think, uh, yeah, thank you ever so much. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. And that is our award ceremony for tonight. And now we have a special Chart Champions trivia quiz. So if you could please all get out your cell phones and we will commence with the quiz here shortly. Just give us one moment to get it all set up and we will get rocking and rolling. And can we just get one more round of applause for our winners tonight? Some really amazing insight, some incredible, incredible answers. So thank you all. Thank you very much. Yeah, so please scan the QR code, enter the game pin, and we'll get kicking here soon. Here they come. I see a Jap Kapi dad in there. Shout out, dad. <laughs> We'll give it just a couple more seconds here. All right, I think we might, yeah, 58. Hey! <laughs> it's like watching the charts, huh? All right, you think we should kick it off? Oh, hold on. We'll give it a minute here. We want everybody to be in, right? Have some fun. Capricorn, see you, buddy. All right, anyone else who wants to get in? A couple seconds left here. Yeah, I think we're probably good to kick it off. Let's get to 69 people, come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is everyone ready? And any answer on this one is correct. So just let us know you're in and we will confirm and get going. Okay, here we go. Yes, beautiful. All right, now you have about 30 seconds to answer each question. It's multiple choice, and the one who answers the question fastest will win. All right? 
Question number two, which year was Bitcoin created? Was that 20, 2005, 2008, 2009, or 2011? <laughs> Got Elmo there. All right, you guys are fast. Hey. Okay, next question. Which of the following is considered a safe haven asset during market downturns? Is that technology stocks or sticks, real estate, startup companies, or gold? Yes, all right, maybe that one was too easy. Nice job, nice, nice job. Next question, what is technical analysis? Is it analyzing a company's financial statements to determine its value? Is it using historical price data and charts to predict future market movements? Or is it studying economic indicators to predict market trends? Or lastly, is it consulting experts for investment advice? Technical analysis, what is it? Okay, we taught you well. All okay, right. okay. All right, we got a shift in the leaderboard here. I like to see it, I love the competition. All right, this is a good one. In what year was Chart Champions founded? Was it 2019, 2018, 2020, or 2021? A Little bit more difficult question here, and they do get harder as we go. Sergey with a dominant lead. Next question. This one's worth double points, everyone. In what month was Church Champions founded? Was it a June, October, January, or May? May, it was May of 2018. Next question, and this one, it goes a little fast, so hang with us. How long has Severin been a coach at Chart Champions? Is it one year, two months, one year, six months, one year, eight months, or two years and six months? See, we've got some high scores on the board. <laughs> Tractor P's on fire. Next question. What was the top price of the Bitcoin bull run in Coinbase November 2022? Hey, you're right. Let's see how we're doing here. All right, crypto, what, 212? Here we go with the next question. Which coast famously shorted this level, 69K, in 2021? Was it Igor, Severin, Daniel, or all of the above? I'm loving the gifts too here. Beautiful. All right, all right. Next question, which coach famously shorted the retest of the all-time high at 59K down to 29K in 2021? Was it Coach Igor, Coach Severin, Coach Daniel, or all of the above? It was Igor. <laughs> Who else remembers that one? All righty, ready. Next question. This one's double points. In what year was Church, e Igor's first post in Chart Champions? 2017, 2018, 2019, or 2020? He just joined, ladies and gentlemen. He is impressed. <laughs> Right, here we go, all right, it's a little bit 
tougher one there. Bob is bullish. All right, next question. What is the advantage of using the Igor's 50 SMA strategy? To give entries, can it be used as a risk indicator? Does it identify momentum changes or none of the above? We got some fast hands here, guys. There we go, we did well with identifying momentum changes. Well done, well done. All right, it's a tie for the top here. Next question now, which of the following is an advantage of trading failed auction setups? Is it uh, that they're used on a daily time frame, that they offer good risk to reward setups? Are they used to spot the, con the continuation of a trend or all of the above? You can see the answers rolling in here. A little raise the roof, huh? Who likes the office, huh? Okay. Next question is severance scalping strategy. What constitutes the previous daily range? Is that the previous day val to previous day va, previous week high to previous week low, previous day low to previous day high, or none of the above? Previous day low to the previous day high. All right. And we got Boris jumping in first here. Bob and Giannis also in the top three. Praveen and Rick. All righty, next question. Another double points. What are the three entry types in Severin's scalping strategy? Aggressive, reclaim loss, backtest, retest. Supply demand, loss, reclaim, retest, backtest. Aggressive reclaim retest or break retest continuation. Aha, a little tricky question there. Bob back on top. All righty, two or three questions left. What setup did Igor use to long the 15,400 15, dip back in 2022? Was it the first touch daily NPOC, the if one then two setup, a four hour order block or an SFD? And alas, it was an SFP. All right, we got two questions left here. Which of the following coaches is widely considered a swing trader? Is that Igor, Daniel, Severin, or all of the above? <laughs> it's Daniel. All right, last question here, worth double points. What was the first ever asset that Coach Daniel bought? Was it Coinbase? Was it BTC? Apple or Nvidia? That was Nvidia. <laughs> Team Nvidia. <laughs>
congratulations, mate. Cheers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, nice. Oh, two yenis. Two yenis. Yenis. Okay. Yenis <laughs> Oh, sorry, Tyler. I think we had Giannis 85 in first place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, congratulations, second place. <laughs> 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 you have many Giannis. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's see. Name Giannis. I suppose I'm a good student. <laughs> I'm a long member, so I, uh, my everyday life is around chess champions, so you know, I have learned a lot. I, I don't uh, post many uh, posts every day, but I'm a good student, <laughs> I think. I suppose, yeah. T tell us a little bit about you know when you joined and you know what what you do and um, you know your trading uh, strategy and mm -hmm. yeah. I joined back in 2021 in January. I'm a long uh, member. Um, I trade uh, futures, yes, and Nasdaq. I started by trading Bitcoin with uh, Daniel. <laughs> I watched every video back then, but I transitioned to a futures trader uh, following especially severance strategies. I have, uh, there, there is a whole different world with uh, futures and what uh, you, Igor, and severance teach. And yeah, I think that this is appropriate. This is uh, the trading for me. This is the trading style that suits for me. You found your home yeah. in the <laughs> futures markets. Of course. Yeah. Of is course. that because there's more opportunities as well? Or yeah, I think that it's more volatile, more volume. You know, there are many opportunities in, uh, at least now in this period. This period, uh, back in 2020, 2021, uh, when Bitcoin and crypto were more volatile, there were many opportunities there. But now I think futures market, stock market in general, uh, offer many, many opportunities every day. But it looks like Bitcoin is kind of waking up a little bit now, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> of course. I know that it's not your first meetup because we already met in London and you were actually sitting next to me. So yeah. uh, what is your key takeaways from these um, in-person events? What would you recommend to the others? Just commit every day. If you have uh, this passion, just stick to it, follow chart champions in every meetup. This is my second meetup and uh, first time in London was a, a perfect experience for me. Uh, it's it's life changing, you know, that this thing is life changing. Uh, Severin back then was just a champion. He was sitting next to me wow. and <laughs> after that he became a coach. So everything is possible, you know, just a champion, you can transition to a, ch a coach, a professional trader. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, that, that was actually the question I, I had in my head lined up thinking, oh, it's not your first meet up. <laughs> I was going to ask the same. So I would just say, um, can't think of a question off the top of my head now. Um, do you have a question for us? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have a question for us? Here you go. <laughs> Anything you want. <laughs> a question for you. No, no, or if no, or if no, no, no question. Not financial advice. <laughs> no, that's advice. So I know you're mostly trading the futures, but will you be joining the Bybit competition now on crypto? Of course. Of course I'll do. A professional trader is a professional trader, you know. <laughs> He's trading what uh, offers opportunity. So the opportunity will be in the competition in, on Sunday, so why not? Of course. Yeah, of course. But uh, maybe you have uh, the opportunity to trade futures, uh, historical price action, maybe. <laughs> no, I, I, you have to I find a way. I want to. <laughs> yeah. Any 
Perfect. Thank you very much. And uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you ever so much.